hey guys welcome back to the channel so what are we doing today well it's time to cut this roof off and put this one on so the previous owner of the car um, you know wanted to chop the top three inches and started to do it um, but we're gonna put it back to a regular roof so this is actually from a Le Mans here figure out my hand that's a Le Mans roof. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, we're going to whack this one off and put that other one on and hope that it I don't screw it up. So let's flip the camera around and see what we got to do. First thing guys I already did is I put in some bracing. So I've got it braced across here. You can see going up here, there's a brace that goes across the front. I've got a brace that goes across the side here. And I also have one additional one that goes across here. I do not have it braced here and here because I'm going to need to get up in there and do stuff. So I figured, well, that's enough bracing and it's it's pretty solid. So when we go to, you know, cutting this off, um, you know, it's we've got some structure built in. Everything, you know, we've got new floor pans. We've got, right, uh, I had to put these in um, because this was originally a Pro Street car and had big wheel tubs. And we've got uh, factory wheel tubs back in it. But so, you know, basically uh, they were one inch widened, but uh, you know, we've got the fl new floor pan in, we got the wheel tubs in, new floor pans in the back or trunk pans. You know, we got this piece in there now. These pieces are just clecoed in for right now, but they're providing, you know, additional support to the structure until I can weld in new pieces over there. And anyway, there's a lot of stuff to be welded up. So what I'm probably going to do to start with, and I also need to salvage as much as this as I can, so I can do repairs to that one. Um, because if you guys notice, you know, there's, uh, you know, Obviously in the Pontiacs, those areas rust and probably the Chevelles and stuff. So I want to save as much of this stuff as I can to do repairs here. So anyway, let's get to chopping and scrapping. guys as you can see we have a convertible so I've left quite a bit of material you know here and here um, to try and figure out what I'm gonna do to get that to sit in here and so we can weld this area and just so you can get kind of a close-up you know I couldn't use up here where the quarter you know goes to the roof because it was all cut up and you know and you can see here how this was cut up and redone so I'm gonna have to most likely either come like out here and weld it you know on the flat on the outside and then on the inside you know because this panel goes here I may just kind of come right along these holes you know about midway in the holes and cut it and then weld it here you know very carefully um, now this will have a vinyl top back on it because that's what it originally had so you know the biggest area to be very careful of would be this area um, when we weld it back up and together so that's kind of what i'm thinking i'm going to have to do but before i do that what i'm probably going to do you can see you know it's what i mean right i left more meat here so uh, that way i'm going to clean this up and that way it'll be a nice, uh, you know, curb. And then we'll probably cut and weld it. Um, and then here, what I'll do is I'll probably go ahead and try to repair these first since it's out of the car and probably be easier to do these repairs. For example, I need to 
um, do weld these up, hammer dolly and weld these up. So that way when I weld them from the bottom side through the wheelhouse, you know, it's got something to weld to. So there's a few things I need to do um, first. Honestly, doing the eight pillars will be easy once I kind of figure out, you know, the length and cut them down and um, that kind of deal. So that won't be too hard doing the eight pillars. It'll be this whole structure back here will be the hard part. You know, trying to get these things back in, you know, that and this, when we set it back down in there somehow to, uh, to do this. Yeah. guys so what I've done actually originally I was talking about cutting across here and then just welding this in right to the body because you know it kind of looks like this you know I figured well maybe I'll just cut it and do that but then I got to looking a whole lot closer and this is spot welded you know to this which is this flange here so I basically cut right along this top edge, right along this top edge here, um, got out of the way. And then basically used, I tried to, there's like 20 or 30 spot welds down here. So I was starting to drill them out and I'm like, the heck with this. So basically what I did is I just took my angle grinder with a wheel and then just slowly just kind of ground this whole piece out. It was actually easier and quicker to do that. So there's a couple spots I need to fix on this flange where you can see where I kind of drilled, started drilling. The right here, there's a little, you know, spot that's gone through. And obviously I need to fix this rust area here. Um, so we just have a little bit of rust repair to do, but otherwise, you know, it's pretty solid. So we'll do a little welding, a little grinding. We'll get this all cleaned up here really good. Um, you know, there will be a vinyl top going back all over this, but we will, you know, do the um you know some uh some rust prevention stuff here uh you know we'll do some like kbs rust blast in this area to try to convert this or neutralize it as best we can you know we'll prime it with some like galvanized primer uh, probably weld through primer um you know give it some you know corrosion protection as well but that's kind of what we're going to do and then probably what i'm going to do on this outside area is you know you can kind of see where the molding was here and here right by the stains <laughs> what i'm probably going to do is at that bottom area is i'm going to get up one of the pieces of trim set it in here we'll mark it and then i'm going to trim right along that area and then i'm going to do the same thing to the body over here you know basically we'll just mark right along that body and then we'll trim both of these uh the same and then hopefully what will happen is when we set the body down in, you know, we can clamp this in and somehow weld it. And then, you know, I'll TIG weld this whole area here and hopefully we'll get it nice and tight, you know, to both this matches to the body. We can TIG weld it up so there's minimal distortion, um, you know, we minimal grinding needed. And then, you know, basically this trim will help hide this area as well. So that's what I'm thinking. And then obviously for the eight pillars, we'll reinforce those. We'll cut them to match and, you know, weld them up. So this way, you know, this area here, basically once we drop this in, you know, we don't have to try and grind and weld this little seam area. You know, we basically just need to weld this area here and then the, you know, the front eight pillars and the front eight pillars will be covered with, uh, you know, trim anyway. So you as long as I take my time in the eight pillars, you know, we should, do just a little bit of body filler probably, you know, for any distortion, paint it up and you will never know. So that's kind of the plan we're going with replacing this roof assembly.
All right, guys, so now what we're trying to do is trim this up a lot closer. And you know, so when we set the roof on here, we'll be real close to basically being able to weld it up. So, you know, I laid the trim on here. I got the trim, laid it on here, drew my lines, and I'm cutting right above the line. So then when I go to weld the other piece, you know, in here, I'll do the same thing. I've got, you can see this marked as well where I'm gonna cut it. And so, you know, the top will set on there. On here, I should say. The problem I'm having is I'm gonna trim it up to right around here and cut it, right? And then I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do here because this piece is supposed to be sticking straight up and down and then it welds to the roof structure. Um, it's actually welded along here as well. So I'm not, you know, I just can't kind of cut it and cut this out and then just weld this in. I probably could, but then I'd have to figure out how to do this. So what I'm gonna do is kind of trim it here, trim it back. I need to remove, as you can see, I need to remove all this here because this is what I'm gonna do is, that's why I salvaged that area there, all right? Because when I set that in here, then basically, you know, I'm on, on from this side, you know, from this side here, I'm going to do some plug welds, you know, to this piece. So that way this panel will look all nice and factory. We'll just do a little seam sealer in here. And then what we'll do is we'll weld it all along here. And then basically the vinyl top and the trim will pretty well cover this area up. Um, so, that, you know, it shouldn't be noticeable at all. And then, you know, I got to still trim the pillars. So right now what I'm doing is getting this cut up, you know, cut above the black line, um, the top side of it. I'll do the same thing to the roof over there. And then, like I said, I got to take all this stuff out. So I can try and get the roof, you know, a pillar somewhat close. So I'm measuring inside to inside with the tape, and it's about 56 inches here. But when I measure, you know, from inside here to inside here, it's like 57 and a half. So we've definitely got to trim off some more, you know, this pillar. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to trim it till I get to exactly 56, um, because what I want to do is just get it close and then take my measurements that I have from uh, before I took this car apart, you know, and so that way we can, you know, inch our way there or, you know, quarter inch our way there, whatever it takes to get this, you know, to line up with these posts and then, get, you know, take my measurements and from my book and uh, see what we got. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these down. You can see, Hey, look, you know, that thing that was in the garage taking up all the space is gone. Um, you know, the boards are over there now and stuff, so we'll use those maybe for another day. You can see it bent the heck out of these bolts. So I've got bungees as well, you know, here in the front. Um, the bolts in the back are heavier. You know, those are 3 8 these are like 5 16 So those are holding up better back there. These not so much. So like I said, I've got a couple bungees as well, just in case one of those bolts decides to give way. But let's go ahead and uh, cut these, you know, a little bit. We'll, like I said, inch our way up a little bit until we, we get somewhat close. Then we'll stop and then we're gonna set the body or the roof on the body. And then, you know, we'll go from there.
Um, and grab this bar, pull it, hold it right there. No, no, just straight up like that. No, no, don't move it anywhere, just hold it steady right there. Oh, okay. Well, you guys give me an explanation. All right, guys, so back on the the roof, took a little break and did a six summer drag and drive event. And one thing I'm doing is I'm setting the trim in the opening to make sure that, you know, everything's good. At this point in time, nothing is clamped or welded. Everything is just kind of clamped at this point. And the front, this trim fits pretty good. What I do need to do is where I did a repair down in this corner and on the other corner, I need to just do a little massaging um, with a hammer dolly just to kind of give it a little bit more form here so the trim fits just a little bit better. Otherwise, it fits really good, you know, all the way up and around. Obviously, it should because all, not, all this up here, nothing around up there changed, right? That should fit good. Um, and actually, you know, here where the two pieces meet, you can see where it had been uh, put together previously and, and you can see kind of the little discoloration, kind of like that you can see a little discoloration um that's what i was meaning by you know this trim all fits up pretty good it's just a hair off like i said here in the corners and then coming up to the front same kind of deal um you know i have it just kind of sitting in place and i need to do a little bit of a little work here so it fits a little better here this is where i did a little cowl repair so i need to do a little hammer dolly work um get this to fit a little better um now, I do have a piece, a clip in here, but I think I've got the wrong clips, but it's just kind of holding it in place. And then, you know, it's the same kind of deal um, where these pieces kind of go together. You know, like here's a seam, you know, here's a seam. Um, you know, they're very, very close where they go. So, essentially, I am very happy with the way this all fits because the way this all fits means you know as well as the side pieces and everything else that i think i've got this top in there right i measured another car while i was there and pretty much i was within about a 16th of an inch um from this roof you know in body measurements to that car so i am going to call that good but i am going to set the glass in here in a few minutes uh, a few hours because I'm waiting for Amazon to deliver suction cups so it'll be easier for me and someone else to kind of set the glass in here and just make sure that everything is squared up real nice. You know, that I've got plenty of room as well for the front and back glass. So what I'm going to do is take the trim back off and then put a few pieces of foam here and there um, so the glass doesn't rub against the steel frame. And, you know, I can put a couple little uh, spacers at the bottom to kind of hold it up. And I'll come back and show you that here before we set the glass in. But just another thing to make sure that this all fits nice. All right, guys, so I've got the back glass in place. And, you know, we've got a nice, even gap to this side, across the top, um, pretty good across the bottom. You know, so it looks like it fits in here really good. Um, you know, I can't see anything way, way, way off. I'll get some, take some measurements here in a minute, you know, about how far a gap I have here, you know, how far of a gap I have up here, left to right, that kind of thing. And then, you know, along here as well. And just to make sure it's all kind of squared up um, before we do any tack welding. Um, you know, I kind of set the moldings in place here, 
Um, you know, I had a very similar fitment, you know, uh, pretty, pretty good gap left to right. You know, it's kind of about a quarter of an inch here to this flange. Um, you know, and, and I can, you can see I kind of raised it up. You can kind of see where the old seal kind of sealed up. And then, you know, across here, let's see if I can get this off. You know, there's about a quarter of an inch up here along the top as well. This kind of looks like it where it kind of went. I'm gonna have to replace the windshield. Um, there's a bunch of spider, I don't know about spider webbing or ant trails, whatever you wanna call it in the glass down here where the laminates start to separate. So I'm gonna to need to get a new windshield for this thing. Um, uh, but otherwise, you know, it fits in here pretty good. Uh, I do need to work on this side, this on the opposite side to get a little better fit for the molding. Um, but once I do that, then, you know, I think we'll be okay. And then we can go ahead and start tacking, you know, all this up, tacking it all back up on the other side. So the glass, once I take some measurements again, this side to the other side, like up here, you know, to the other side, down here to the other side, just to make sure it's all kind of square in here. It looks pretty good from, uh, from my standpoint. But once we take some actual measurements, we'll know for sure. All right, guys, so one thing that I thought I had done, and, and apparently I forgot to either video it or I somehow deleted the video, was, you know, you'll notice, right, there's holes drilled here, factory holes, you know, in the A-pillar. You know, take your trim, and right, you'll see there's these pieces. Stick them up in there and use these also for an alignment guide to make sure, you know, that this is the right... Um, you know, where you, when you section it, that you've got the correct amount, right? Like I, I could try and show you, but basically all these holes line up here in the trim um, perfectly. So that way I know, you know, this matches really well. Uh, I don't know where I put it, but the A-pillar trim that, you know, attaches, you know, kind of snaps over here and then it screws in here and here. Um, you know, it matched up perfectly as well. Um, so use that to, you know, as an advantage as well as, you know, the glass, uh, like we did. Um, so use this, you know, pieces of trim, you know, use this, use these pieces, you know, at least on my car, I've got these pieces, you know, you can see here, here's a piece of trim, how it matches up now. Really nice, right? It snaps right over, you know, it lines up perfectly with this area. And then I've got this ground down now here as well now this isn't perfect but you know it kind of goes somewhere around this area and you can see right there is a little bit of area here i just need to do a little bit more grinding right there and then a little bit of body filler and you'll never know you know that we did anything here so it, it's real real close you know to covering what we need to do and you can see you know it matches up pretty close in the back there and you can see, right, it matches up here as well. So we've got nice fitment here. This piece fits really well. Like I said, this piece, piece fit really well. And when I snap this cover over here, you know, it fit really well, nice and tight to all this. So everything fit up really, really good. So use all your trim before you weld to make sure, you know, that everything lines up, everything works the best that you can before you finally do all your final welding. So I, I thought I had video of this, but apparently I did not. So I kind of, I'm throwing this in there as something else to make sure, you know, use your, use all your trim to make sure that it, you know, fits up well before you do all your final welding. All right, guys. So we've, uh, Finally done all my glass fitting and testing and measuring, and I had to redo that corner over there just a little bit so I could get better trim fitment. Um, you can see I've got the cowl back out just to make sure, you know, we've got good fitment to the cowl here, right, as well. And then, like I said, I set the trim in there and got good fitment to the trim. If you notice, right, we've got a couple of, you know, initial spot welds going on. Got some spot welds over on that A-pillar. Then you can see we started basically just doing some spot welds about every half inch or so. You know, we've got this one. I just finished this one up. Um, so I'm going to go to the other side, do the same thing. Just a bunch of little spot welds now. 
And you know, I'm really happy the way this is turning out. So what we'll do is go to the other side, do all the spot welds over there. And then I'll probably come inside and start doing a little welding on the inside. Um, you know, then come out here, do a few more little spot welds, come over here, do a few more spot welds, the other side, a few more spot welds, do a few on the inside, you know, and just kind of work my way around the car. So, you know, if I weld over here, it's not pulling too hard. You know, if I weld over there too much, you know, it's not pulling too hard and put all this work out of whack, right? So we are getting there. It is turning out pretty darn good. Um, so I'm really, really happy the way the glass fit, the way all the trim fit in here when I set it in place. Um, so now I'm just taking my time, get all this welding done, then we'll come back through and carefully grind all this smooth. Hopefully this will be basically right where the molding rides. And you know, there might just be a slight little bit of body filler right here. Um, so if I do it right, you'll never know, you know, we ever chop this rough. Um, you know, because there'll be trim on the outside here, there'll be trim on the outside here, you know. The only area you would really be able to see is right inside there. So if I do a good job there, you'll never know that we had to, you know, put this roof on. Right, guys so while in the car right i was basically welding this seam here and this seam here from underneath that's why you can see the weld through primer there you know discolored um, that's what those pictures are where i was welding under here and under here so next i'm going to put in let me go to the other side of the car we're going to weld in this brace here and then there's this brace right here, which kind of hard to see, but uh, they're gonna, I'm gonna weld them from the bottom side um, up to the wheel well. So this one I actually may drill or out and weld from top down, but this one I'm gonna weld from bottom up. Um, now that I look at this one, I think I can get to this one a little easier from up here, but we're gonna have to bend the flange a little bit to get it to fit. All right, guys, so I'm on the driver's side, and so I'll be welding this in from up top here. I just need to push it back a little bit, and then she'll flush up, and then I'll weld five plug welds up here. Um, I've got this bracket positioned. I got a couple welds here, a couple welds here to do, and then I'll weld it from underneath the wheel well to get uh, those in, and then we'll weld this up in here. So that's about what we're gonna do next. And then we'll go to the other side and do the same thing. All right, guys, so we've got this all welded up now. Those two braces are welded up, welded up up here. You know, so this side is all done. Um, I still need to put in the brace that goes right there and then to the wheelhouse and then weld this brace in. But now I'm gonna come over to this side and weld up these two braces over here, as well as this panel here and I need to weld that up there um, and the, before I did that though I wanted to make sure that this is still all square so I just measured and you know everything is still all squared up here um, everything is all squared up in the back so now I'm going to go ahead and start doing what I need to do to get ready to weld over here all right guys so we are inside the car 
And because I widened my wheel wells one inch, you know, these don't exactly fit perfect. Um, so this one, I had to flatten this area out and then kind of curl it or roll it a little bit. You know, it still sticks up, but once we get this welded in, you know, up here in this area, you know, then I, and along here, then we should be able to, you know, roll that a little easier, press it down and then, you know, weld up, uh, you know, these spots here and then weld up, you know, this bar. Now, it, because this car originally, the previous owner was trying to pro street it, right? They had big wheel tubs in here and all that. You know, we've got factory wheel tubs back in it. You know, I've got these braces from another car. You know, this is a new floor pan. This brace here is from another car. This piece is from another car, right? I'm trying to get all this to fit back up nice. Um, so this is, you know, I've got clamps, um, you know, back here. Uh, clamping it to the rear sail panel or the rear package tray here and kind of sail panel there. Um, clamp up here. So it's kind of clamped this piece to the package tray. I've got clamps on the back side, clamping it to here. You see, I've got clamps here, clamps here, clamps, clamps, lots of clamps. So we've got this side all clamped up. Um, and I need to now do a little repair to the other side. We'll get that side then all clamped up and then we'll weld this all up and that will complete, you know, the, uh, the top, putting the new top on or roof, putting the new roof assembly in, except for a lot of grinding. <laughs> you know, I've got uh, welds I need to grind down and look better and stuff like that. And then we'll have to put primer on and yada, 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 yada. You know, grind all along the outside seams, all that fun stuff. You know, here's what I mean by some of the grinding, right? Um, I still need to do a couple of plug welds here and there, but uh, this is pretty much not going anywhere at this point. Uh, this is all welded up. You can see back here, this is all welded up now. Um, you know, again, we've got this all clamped up. We've got, you know, the braces there welded, you know, inside and outside of the wheelhouse, you know. So this thing is is solid. It ain't going to go nowhere. But now we're making even more solid, right, by putting this brace in, getting these braces all in, you know, and that will finish basically the entire structure of putting this whole thing back together. And that's why I was saying, you know, I got a lot of grinding to do. You know, we got to grind all this down now to make it pretty, grind that down to make it look pretty. I'm sure there's a couple, you know, missed, uh, missed little spot welds here. So as we go, you know, through, I'm sure I'll find a couple spots that I need to re-weld, you know, that, that uh, I missed. Um, you know, I got to do a little work right here, for example, you know, where you can see there's just a little gap there where I got to fix this and... Just a lot of little little fixing up to do. But otherwise, guys, she is pretty darn solid. There's a little bit of a high spot right here. Um, I'll get the, sh the shrinker, um, you know, the big disc, come through this whole area, and we'll shrink it down. We'll strip the paint, put marker on it, stuff like that. So it is really, really close, guys, to being finished. You know, I keep, every time I weld something, I keep, you know, let, weld a little bit, let it cool down, weld a little bit, let it cool down, and then keep checking, right, to make sure everything is square as I go along. All right, guys, so everything is clamped up on both sides. Uh, I'm going to, I think, going to have to crawl in the trunk and weld in, you know, through these, uh, through the trunk here to get to those braces, uh, or to get to that brace, um, you know, to uh, weld it in. The one I'm talking about is, you know, right here in the corner there. Um, these front ones obviously will be easy. I can get in the car and weld them up. But uh, to get that brace, you know, where it kind of wraps around here, I think I'm gonna have to get in the trunk and weld it. So let me crawl in there and weld away. Um, and then we'll, you know, get on top and we can weld this portion here up. And then, like I said, we can come up front here and weld that up. Well, there you go, guys. All welded in. You can see the back braces are all welded now. Um, these braces are all welded. Now, these, um, 
I had to scooch in a little bit because, you know, the wheel well was widening it. So, you know, I had to tweak these two braces a little bit and obviously these braces there and there a little bit to get them to work. Um, but other than that, you know, the it actually turned out pretty good. I got a lot of grinding to do now. Um, probably some touch up welding here and there. But guys, that kind of does it. So guys, it took me, I don't know, two and a half weeks maybe to do this. Um, doesn't seem like that, but you know, a lot of measuring, fitting, a lot of cutting, grinding, not a lot really, kind of dropped in, but I also took a few days off from it and um, you know, did six summer event, and if you saw those videos and I saw a, a white 66 Le Mans there and I was able to take a few measurements and just to make sure, you know, everything I was doing was right. So, you know, you saw we set the glass in and did all kinds of stuff. So now it's uh, now it's about making it look pretty and doing some, like I said, some touch up welding and start doing more seam sealing, you know, uh, stuff like that. And then we can move on to something else. I'm not sure what that is yet. Um, I don't know if I want to do the nine inch rear end next or just go ahead and start on the front sheet metal so we can maybe hang the core support and I got one front fender to fix. The other front fender I think is in good shape. Um, I don't think it needs any repairs. I can hang the doors on just to check fit and stuff. And we can see how this kind of starts turning out. So uh, yeah, cause I got parts in a little trailer out behind the house the fenders and the core support and stuff. I'll probably should fish those out and start working on some of that stuff so we can see a more completed car. Anyway, guys, I uh, hope this helps you. Um, even if it's not a GMA body, you know, that you're doing, if it's some other car, you can kind of see what I went through to uh, have to do a complete roof swap. Um, so anyway, uh, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, you know, all that fun stuff. I appreciate you watching this video. Um, and uh, we'll see you on a future upload, I hope.